I could. I read every book that was in the market at the time on customer service. And I finally started to find words for what I had done instinctively. And what I began to realize is that your business sits on top of a three-legged configuration, like a tripod or a stool. And what about a tripod? It's got three legs. If one of those legs are off balance, what happens to the thing at the top? It falls over, or it teeters precariously for a very long time, right? Each leg of the tripod represents a different set of relationships. The relationships that you have externally with your customers, with your community, with your suppliers, with your board members, with the IRS. I mean, everybody's impacted by your business, right? And then there's this relationship internally that you have with each other, with the people that work for you and the people that you work for. And then there's one other relationship that we never talked about in business 25 years ago. It's getting talked about a lot now. And that's the inner relationship. That's the relationship that you have with your work. That's the relationship that determines whether or not you get up in the morning, look in the mirror, and say, yes, I get to go to work today. If you've ever been out of a job or lived with someone who's been out of a job, they're real anxious to say, yes, I get to go to work today again, aren't they? Yeah. So there's a big difference between the person that gets up in the morning and looks in the mirror and says, yes, I get to go to work today, and the person that says, oh, crap, I have to go to work today. <laughs> Which one of them is going to treat the customer better, the yes person or the oh, crap person, right? And that's what's really important about this tripod is that it drives everything else. This inner circle, so there's the external, there's the external, there's the internal, and then there's the inner. Those are all relationships. And the interaction between all of this is your personal business ecosystem. It's your culture. It's what drives everything. And what I've come to understand, especially since I became a happiness coach and started studying positive psychology 11 years ago, is that this is so important. This, the relationship you have with yourself and your work, the inner game of customer care is so important because it's what drives the other relationships. When you get up in the morning and you really enjoy your work and you want to come to work and you put everything into your work, you show up happy. You want, to, you want to play with others. You want to have good relationships with other people. And when inside an organization, people work well with together, oh my goodness gracious, customer care becomes easy because there's all the support you need. So how is it that we keep that energy, that culture, that ecosystem working well? And that's what we're going to talk about today because it's all about relationships and everything is related to everything else that you do.